Hi students, how's everything going? Let's take a look at today's lesson. So many new ideas, I'll work to make them worth. I can reach higher by trying hard. What will be my choice? My future I will write. I'm strong enough to fight for all my rights. To be a doctor, a janitor, a nurse, engineer, DJ, waiter, a policeman that serves An actress, writer, driver, designer, you're free to choose your life that you deserve Knowledge is the source in which I'll find my way That's the start to make my dreams come true I'll put my mind into getting in this world of work To be myself a part of this world too To be a doctor, a janitor, a nurse, engineer, DJ, waiter, a policeman that serves An actress, writer, driver, designer, you're free to choose the life that you deserve Lesson 17 Our Jobs Vamos ver o que houve no nosso último encontro? Vimos o alfabeto inteiro Vamos relembrar todas as letras rapidinho A, B, C, D, E, F, G H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P Q, R, S, T, U, V W, X, Y, and Z Starts with A and ends with C That's the alphabet for me O would apareceu pra gente. Agora sabemos, now we know, que utilizamos o would em situações um pouco mais formais. Por exemplo, Would you call Pedro for me? Ok? Are you ready? Let's go! Travel agency, good morning. How can I help you? Oh, hello. My name is Luis and I would like to go on a trip with my wife. We are always traveling around Brazil. And I like to know if you can have a discount this time. Okay, Luis. How often do you travel? Once a month. Could you give me your name, please? Luis Alberto Ferdolini. Ferdolini? How do I spell that? F E R D O L I N I. A novidade aqui é a pergunta da Mariana. Olha só. How often do you travel? Once a month. How often é a expressão que utilizamos para saber com que frequência algo acontece. Por exemplo, How often do you exercise? Ou, How often do you study English? Ou, como a Mariana perguntou, How often do you travel? Viram como o cliente respondeu once a month? Isto quer dizer uma vez por mês. Se fossem duas vezes por mês, ele diria twice a month. A partir de três vezes, a gente já pode dizer three times a month, four times a month, five times a month, and so on and so on. Só para uma e duas vezes é que a gente tem essas palavrinhas específicas. Once e twice. Oh, I can see in the agency system that is the tenth time you are traveling with us. Oh, that's right, young lady. You can have a 25% discount for any location in Brazil. Where would you like to go? Oh, it is our honeymoon. It has to be a romantic place. Hmm, let me see. Do you know Gramado and Canela? In Rio Grande do Sul? Nice. Or Petrópolis, in Rio de Janeiro? Those are very romantic places. Mm -hmm. Reparem na primeira frase da Mariana. I can see in the agency system that is the tenth time you are traveling with us. Reparem na expressão Agencies System. Significa o sistema da agência. Esse S com apóstrofo aí dá uma ideia de posse. 
Vocês já devem ter visto alguns restaurantes chamados Rafaels, Túlios, Anas, Marcelos. Agora vocês sabem por quê. Now you know why. Mariana, how is work today? Oh, it is fine. I can see you're rarely having doubts about it. Mm, I have doubts sometimes, but I'm learning more every day. In a short time, this job is going to be a piece of cake. <laughs> Algumas palavras dão a ideia de frequência. Por exemplo, a Mariana está indo bem no trabalho e ela está raramente tendo dúvidas. She is rarely having doubts. Às vezes, é normal ter dúvidas e por isso ela diz I have doubts sometimes, but I'm learning more every day. In a short time, this job is going to be a piece of cake. Mm -hmm. 